Caroline, would you like to go ahead with your question? Yes, um, thank you for everything you've shared so far. But my question is, uh, feedback generally isn't perceived as praise. It can be perceived as, as advice or criticism. At its best, is it observational? Yeah, it can be. Uh, it, it really depends on the on the different type of context uh, that I talked through, where you get that feedback, out of which mechanism, is there an established process for it, or is it just a, a conversation next to the coffee machine uh, in the office uh, or at the school canteen? I think the, the, the setting in which it happens and the context in which happens defines a lot because... Um, you know, if there is if there is no protocol and if there is no trust, then you can easily uh, end up, yeah, taking it as criticism, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it could be constructive criticism, right? So it really depends on the on those settings, how the feedback happens, uh, and the relationship between those people. The, the most difficult ones again are where there is no protocol and no trust, you end up in emotional conversations. And it's really easy to get sidetracked and pulled into, into some traps. Uh, and at that moment, you need the self-awareness to manage the line. Oh, am I getting some thoughts from a put bag here and that I have to consider or not and have those questions and just manage it properly. Um, I, I don't mean to you know, diminish the value of feedback when I, you know, make this couple of funny comments about uh, the type of people that give feedback. Generally speaking, uh, it really depends on how you take it and the choices you make uh, with, the, with the feedback. And, um, and I think the, the most important reaction is the choice you make, how you take it along, even if you think that this is something I, I, don't, need, I don't need to consider, it, but is there any, any, any other truth in this that I can take along? Um, I think it's a gift. So, um, but you make the choice whether, you know, it's, it's, it's just negative criticism. Is it constructive criticism? Is, is it positive feedback, negative feedback? Um, and, and how does it help you to achieve a certain goal which may or may not exist at that moment? So I think a couple of input factors are really important to define how that conversation happens.